Can you picture it? That image of sharing a glass of wine with friends on a warm afternoon. We're getting closer to that day and we're also getting closer to Earth Day just a couple of weeks away. And did you know the two can go hand in hand. Our friend Dave Kiawa with Pennsylvania Fine Wine and Good Spirits joins us. And today, Dave, we're asking the age old question. Why not? Exactly. No, I don't, <laughs> so, but I'm bump. I don't know. <laughs> well, with Earth Day coming up on the 22nd, uh, I have to help us celebrate, I have a whole host of different sustainable organic wines. And we have lots of different varieties of those types to kind of give one for just about every palate. Now, sustainable wines and organic wines really aren't any different. They're still fermented grape juice, but they're free of herbicides, pesticides, and all types of artificial chemical fertilizers. So it's that's a great. wine that's a little bit better for you. Okay, well, where are we starting? So I'm gonna put one in your hand and then we'll okay. talk about it. Okay. So this first one is a California wine. It's from, from Bonterra and it's made from a varietal by the name of Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. So you have a little bit of lemon and grapefruit yeah. and some grassy notes in there as well. So a very refreshing kind of spring or summer sipper. I love that. Yeah, It's really good. Yeah. I love a, a good Pinot. No, so which was that a Pinot? That Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. Blanc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the second one is 100% Chardonnay and it comes to us from the husband and wife team of Corinne and Jean-Pierre Grosso, and this comes to us from Chablis, France, mm. grown in Kimmeridge and Limestone, and this wine gives like a kind of a uh, green apple and lemon flavor yeah. with a lot of minerality to it as well. Really pretty, but it has a little more heft to it for a white wine, a little bit heavier. That's good. Should I just keep this down here? Or yeah, my whatever, pass? Okay, I'm gonna whatever's best just for you. Just put them all in front of me. Okay. So no wine flight would be complete without a little sparkle. <gasps> so we have Somo Riva. This is a Brut Prosecco. So this comes from the exceptional wine appellations of Colignano and Voldobiadene. Gets you right in here. In Veneto, Italy. Absolutely. It has a little bit of a lemon stripe mid palate, but a little bit of bready and yeasty components yeah. as well. Really Very delicious. flexible wine. It can go with all different types of cuisine. That is delicious. Yes. And it certainly makes me think of brunch. Yes. <laughs> so as we pivot to more red wines, we go to Lobatia. This is a Portuguese Garnacha Rosado. So that's basically a rosé from Portugal. And the nice thing about this wine is it is kind of citral in its presentation, mm -hmm. but has a little bit of tart red berries around the edges. You'll get everything from a tart cherry to a tart strawberry. Really pretty. This is the one that I already tried, started drinking before. It's very good. These go great yeah. with summer salads. Uh, oh, a little bit of chicken salad, yeah. grilled chicken salad, maybe some salmon on the grill. Now, as we go on to the reds, we have Natura's Merlot. So this is a Chilean wine and it's 100% Merlot. And Merlot's gonna present itself as a little bit of kind of black raspberry with some cedar around the edges. Now, as we go to red wines, you notice that the tannins pick up in yeah. the wines. So this is a wine that likes more protein. So we think of red wines with meat, white wines with fish and salads. You're the expert, so tell me about tannins. What are they? So tannins are the things that come to the wine from the grape skins themselves. So when we have a tannin in the wine, it's more of a sensation than it is a flavor. Yeah. So think about the things that make your mouth feel a little bit furry. That's yeah. the tannins. We get them from teas, we get them from nut skins, and we of course get them from grape skins. I like Without that the one. skins, there's no color. Think of the last time you bought grapes at Giant Eagle, you bite into them, the and pulp inside's clear. So we get that color from grape skins. Okay, last. So the last wine we have is from the wonderful wine company of California. And this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Of course, Cabernet Sauvignon is our most popular wine varietal. And this picks up on the tannins and picks up on the weight a little bit. This will give you a blackberry and cassis type flavor. So a little bit of black currant yes. and a little bit more tannins. So think things like steak we'd want to pair that with. Or a steak salad. Or a steak salad. That's like, now I want now I want a salad so bad. And I love the bottle too. These the labels are great. We wanted to bring in Ron because he's celebrating the birthday boy. Ron, what's your favorite? <laughs> do you like red, white? Uh, red wine. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend for Ron for his birthday? The whole bottle or a glass? <laughs> exactly. So, so, so either either the Merlot or the Cabernet Sauvignon will be perfect. Yeah. What what yeah. do you like, Ron? It's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. No. I. You know. And. I'm, it's so sad. I still go by like 
what, what the, the bottle looks like. <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing. If they have a fun bottle, I'm like, oh, that's probably really good. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it doesn't take much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this happy birthday wonderful. to you. Thank you so very much. I'm going to take a sip. Yeah. yeah Cheers absolutely. to Ron and your birthday. And Mikey, I'll bring you back a glass too. Well, thanks, Heather. I'll take a white wine. If white you wine. Mind. Okay, you got it. <laughs> All right. It was so much fun, guys. All right. If you missed any of the wines they feature today, we'll have them for you at a link on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.